I don't think Indonesia is moving away from procedural democracy. Elections, in fact, I think elections are entrenched, but I think liberal democracy in Indonesia is facing significant challenge. Obviously, one of the major challenges to that is from what you might call the Islamist right, Indonesia's alt-right, which sees liberalism, pluralism as threats to their ideal Islamic world that they'd like to create in Indonesia if possible. They're not the only players though. Uh, there is a whole coalition of right-wing forces in Indonesia, including, for example, elite politicians, oligarchs, elements of the military, and then the Islamist groups themselves. They don't have very much in common with each other at all, but they do form expedient alliances, and all of them would agree that liberal democracy in Indonesia needs to be rolled back. And that's why reform, or reformasi as it's called in Indonesia, is really over. It probably finished about 10 years ago. It's certainly stagnated. The question is, what comes next? What's happening in Indonesia took a while to be clear, but it's obviously now a conservative turn, as scholars describe it, taking place amongst Indonesia's Muslim community. They are shifting more towards the right, they're becoming more conservative. Some surveys even show some pretty frightening statistics indicating higher levels of intolerance, not just in Indonesia than in the past, but even compared to many other Muslim countries in the world, particularly towards minority religions. So, that is going to have an impact on uh, Australia's attitudes towards Indonesia. It's already playing out in terms of higher levels of intolerance towards more liberal communities in Indonesia, the targeting of LGBTQI communities, for example, and that's going to become problematic, I think, in Australian perceptions as they deal with Indonesia. So this is a challenge, I think, for Australian governments in the future. Indonesia is rising. It's going to become more economically powerful, and more to the point, I think, Indonesians are very aware, or Indonesian leaders are very aware of that. Uh, it's a more assertive and more nationalistic Indonesia and Australia will have to recalibrate. Our relations with Indonesia have always been difficult, but then Indonesia's relationships with all its neighbours are always difficult. It's just going to be more difficult for our governments to respond given the, the popular reactions that will occur in, in Australia because of this rising Muslim conservatism. Indonesian electoral democracy is still firmly entrenched and I don't see that as under any threat. But on the other hand, the reason it's not under threat is because political elites, oligarchs, even um, some Muslim conservatives have worked out that they can win those elections. So uh, I, I think reformasi is over, but no one knows what's coming next. There's a high degree of uncertainty. Well now after the elections in um, April 2019, those elections are very unpredictable because it will be a very young electorate voting. Um, the uh, median age is in the late 20s. Uh, so the, the youth of Indonesia who are connected but very conservative will be passing judgment on what sort of Indonesia we'll be dealing with for the decades to come in April next year.